What up, everybody? It is Thursday night, still here in the Mile High City. I'm back with another deck tech tonight, uh, second one for tonight, with a commander I built some time ago, commander deck, uh, Mr. Shihao Dune here, the one-eyed. Um, this dude is totally cool. Not only is he... Uh, you know, got some sweet foil going on here with some cool art, but he's got some amazing abilities. And, uh, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So if you look here, we got a, a 4cc four four on a 3-2 body uh, with horsemanship. Um, horsemanship should basically read in Commander that this is this creature's unblockable, um, just because not a lot of people run horsemanship. Well, I say, I say that now, but we actually had a guy in our playgroup that just built a Sun Quan deck. So Sun Quan and Shiha Dune actually haven't met face to face on the battlefield yet I think we kind of have this um, pact, this understated pact between us that we're not going to, we'll off the, the competitors first before we go after each other anyways so horsemanship, great ability gets through, um, the goal of this deck we want to do uh, 10 infect damage as quickly as possible and if, if we don't draw the infect cards we need um, obviously we're moving on to the 21 commander damage um, as quickly as possible Second ability there, Sacrifice Shiha doing the One-Eyed, return a target black card from your graveyard to your hand, activate this ability in your pre-combat main phase. Um, very awesome ability, it's essentially a black regrowth uh, before, before you attack. Um, you obviously have to sacrifice him, but in Commander that's not such a big deal because you can place him in the command zone and get him back at will. Um, and with some of the, the big mana doublers I run in here with uh, Cabal Coffers and uh, Magic to the Coffers, um, you know, mana's not really a problem to recast him. So, um, you know, typically with black, we think, you know, creature regrowth is typically what we see. Um, this is any card, so any black card, I should say. So very cool stuff. Um, let's get right into it. So the first package I'm going to talk about here is ramp. Um, lots of artifact ramp in black. I mean, I do have some spells like Cabal, uh, Cabal Ritual um, and Dark Ritual, um, and obviously Magic the Coffers. Uh, but reliant on you know mana doublers like Cage Sun and a lot of artifact ramp uh, in black because it just simply doesn't doesn't have it like say a green. Um, so you are relying on on black quite a, um, artifacts quite a bit. Um, Expedition map. This is an MVP in this deck. Um, that little red circle right there. That's pointing to, to Cabal Coffers every time. And if I draw Cabal Coffers in my opening hand. Um, I'm getting Vesuva with this, I'm getting Thespian Stage with this, and I'm copying the coffers. So, um, you hear me say the word coffers like a million times because it's so important in this deck, it just doesn't go without it. The next thing, the next package we're going to talk about here is kind of the equipment package, um, getting Dune going quickly. Um, we obviously want to protect him, so I have Swiftfoot Boots and Lightning Greaves. Um, this first kind of set of equipment here, uh, Black has some just totally bomb-ass equipment. I mean, look at this. Plus one, plus one for each swamp you control. And it's not just one of those. It's like three of those cards um, between Nightmare Lash and Stratoscythe here. Um, and then we start moving into stuff, just plus more, more plus, plus, plus X, plus X for number of swamps you control. Um, Liliana is probably the best add I've had to this deck in the last, I don't know, like two months, three months. Um, when I added her, I immediately got started getting wins uh, just because of that second ability there. And she's um, she's versatile. She tutors up swamps for you. Uh, she's just amazing. She is a great card in this deck. So, I mean, you're seeing what we're doing here. We're just loading up Mr. Shiha Dune with equipment, um, trying to deal as much commander and infect damage as possible. Um, so I just have all the necessary uh, resources and tools to get in his power um, pretty high. Um, even going with the throwback, uh, you know, how there with the, the merman dude um, looks pissed. Uh, hatred, talk about looking pissed. Um, I actually haven't hatreded anybody for 39 yet. I can't can't wait to do that. So, uh, and then we get into our infect spells. Uh, this is is a I've, I've gotten victories with this card as well. Um, you know, it gives infect until end of turn, but that plus one, plus zero, I find is usually the difference in, um, a, you know, killing someone uh, just in one turn faster. That, that plus one really does help. And then we have a grafted exoskeleton, just more giving Mr. Dune infect. So, the next package we're going to talk about is uh, 
our kind of reanimation package. Um, Nim's Death Mantle here. Uh, whenever Dune goes to the graveyard, um, you can basically pay four and get him back into play immediately. So um, you're not having to pay the scaled commander uh, casting cost, the, the commander tax. Um, so this card is pretty important in this deck when you start using his uh, abusing his second ability of, of graveyard recursion. Um, but Corpse Stance is actually the best of all these because um, you know it gives haste and then you're moving from the game at the end of the turn. Um, but really, you're just re recurring a card that maybe like an Exsanguinate or something big, um, and you're, you're sacrificing them immediately. So this and with the buyback, it's just totally amazing. Uh, more uh, just graveyard recursion spells. And then if we're kind of depleted, something's not happening, um, this is kind of our, I don't know what, this is our board wipe and kind of other utility package here. Um, Temporal Extortion, very good card early in the game. It's essentially a black time walk. And, um, you know, if you cast it early enough, not very many people are going to pay half their life, you know, paying 20 life to stop you from taking an extra turn. So it helps ramp, helps get you an additional attack phase, um, stuff like that. And if you haven't necessarily indicated who you're going to kill, um, you know, it's just it's going to be odd that someone would pay that 20 life. Very good early game. Uh, MVP of this deck, um, won a couple games with this card. Um, usually playing four player multiplayer games, so you can imagine you're paying X with Cabal Coffers and the other uh, and the like. You're just exsanguinating for a shit ton and causing massive damage and gaining a ton of life. And then I have kind of more board wipers here, uh, more defensive than anything else. Um, just kind of keeping the heat off of you um, and keeping, you know, um, you know, Dune's getting through regardless because of horsemanship, but it keeps the, you know, more defensive um, style going on. Beta Pestilence and Mutilate. Um, this is kind of my tutor and creature package. Uh, the creatures here are more uh, utility creatures. Um, BGH, uh, just killing a creature, being on the Recurrim, same with Shrink Maw, uh, Fleshbag Marauder. Um, pay the ultimate price. Ashes to ashes. I remember this card back in dark, and I always thought, man, no one's ever going to play that card. What a piece of shit. It does five damage to you. Oh, how good it is now. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, going for the throw. Black has some cool card names, I have to admit. Spine of Ishtar. This card is very important. It's starting to become a staple for me in pretty much every commander deck I run. Um, it's just spot removal, and it's colorless. And, you know, commander generating seven mana isn't too much of a problem, right? Then we kind of get into some tutor spells here. Um, House Guard, Diabolic, Diabolic Revelation, and uh, DT. And then, of course, uh, i got two minutes left, so I'm going to go through card draw pretty fast. Uh, good old-fashioned Necropotence. Look at that badass right there. Um, if you don't know what Necropotence is, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Um, Sign in Blood, Siphon Mind, great multiplayer. Pyrexian Arena, I need to get a... A Dark Confidant, now that he's been reprinted, maybe I'll try and get the original. Uh, reassembling Skeleton, Nether Shadow, um, both skull, skull Clamp targets there, Promise of Power, Skull Clamp, and uh, Night's Whisper. Um, the last package I'm going to talk about here is my mana package. Um, I run 38 land in all my decks. Um, that's just the number I feel most comfortable with. It seems like I don't get mana flooded and I don't get mana screwed with that number. Um, here are my non-basics. Um, not very many. MVP of this deck right here also. Um, Cobble Coffers, Cabal Coffers, however you may say it. Um, very important once we get that going. Uh, we typically win the game. Um, the Suva, Thespian Stage, we're copying the, the Coffers. And then, hey, we're untapping the Coffers for one. Great. Great stuff. And then I run a uh, whole slew of just basics. Basic swamps. Which get tutored up by Liliana and all those uh, equipment I showed you earlier um, work well with those obviously so that's all I have right now getting better at this it seems like I finished with uh, 40 seconds this time so uh, just want to thank you guys for watching if you have any suggestions on how I can improve this deck or uh, just any kind of just commentary let me know love magic so uh, never gonna get enough right all right guys take care cheers